Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh, and in this video, we'll look at another app from TensorFlow Lite, which is Super Resolution. So, the first item that we need to do is open Android Studio, and then we'll import the project uh, based on that. So, I'm going to open Android Studio, and I'm assuming you have the, all the uh, Android Studio and your phone setup. If you do not have that, then I'll suggest uh, watching the second video in this series. Click on Open Exist, Open an existing project, and I'll navigate to this folder, which is the Examples dash Master, that has the code for um, the app that we are trying to work with. So Examples, and here we are looking for the Super Resolution app. So which is this one and I'll click on Android and then click open. So this uh, should open the app in Android Studio. And once that is done, we'll uh, follow the same steps as before. Uh, first we'll build, make project, and then we'll run the project. Already have my phone connected. So uh, we should be able to see that phone pop up here on in Android Studio as well. And while this is going on, uh, if we get any messages on the bottom right corner for update of Gradle, uh, we'll go ahead and do those updates as well. In previous video, there were no updates. So let's see what we get in this particular video. Uh, okay, so we do have a message Android Gradle plugin is ready to update. So let's go ahead and update that and then click on make project so here up uh, build up here in the middle you'll see gradle project sync is in progress once that is done um, now we can go ahead and click um, on make project so up on the menu bar i'm clicking on the build and then uh, in the window that opens i'm going to click on make project and once that is uh, clicked uh, here you can see that the Gradle build is running and once that starts running uh, we I think it will take a couple of seconds for it to complete the run and then we can uh, go ahead and click run so that app would then open on the mobile phone so the build is completed and now I can I'm going to click on run and once that is done then uh, i'll switch over to the screen from my mobile phone so here on my mobile phone this is the app it opened and now i'm going to there are three images i'll click on one of them so the very first image uh, if you click on that and click up sample you can see the top image is high res lower image is low res and then if you click on the second image and up sample it you can see the high res image in as the top image and the finally last image you can see this top image is a high resolution image now in addition to using the existing images uh, from the demo version we can also add new images if you want to if you navigate to this folder examples dash master then light and then example and then you want to go to super resolution android and I want to go to app src main assets so here what i've done is i've created three different images as uh, shown here this one then there is the second image which is the petals and then there's a third image which is just my picture and they are all 50 by 50 images so 50 pixels by 50 pixels as you can see and if you zoom in into one of these images of course they would be low resolution so as you can see they are pixelated so we'll try to run the app again with these set of images uh, to see uh, how what is the output we get so what i'm going to do now is get the android studio app and i'll run this again from android studio and I'll start recording on my phone uh, to see the output. Here in the mobile days, now I see three different images. You can ignore the text be description below the images for now. 
and here the leaf image on top is much clearer than the low res image at the bottom of then the petals also are much sharper in the top image you can see the edges of the petals more clearly as compared to bottom image and then on this uh, image of a face i can you can see that the top image has a clearer outline and the eyes as compared to the blurry picture in the bottom image which is a low res image i hope in this video uh, you uh, saw how super resolution app works uh, from tensorflow light and you were able to get it to work on your mobile device as well in next video we'll look at yet another app and see how that works until then please like share and subscribe if you have any comments or suggestions please let me know in the comment section below thank you